The repeat 2017 Baja California was a pretty good success. I figured we'd play that experience from 2016 right into 2017. We got a lot of feedback from the teams and we applied that straight to 2017 to hopefully put on a really good event. A lot of us up here that are alumni learn more Baja than uh, we did at Tua and I assume uh, some of you are the same way. The hill climb was just as big and just as scary and apparently a little bit harder than 2016. One of the pieces of feedback we received was that the S&T event and endurance event were too easy. So we said, okay, game on. Hi, welcome to Endurance at Baja California 2017. Enjoy the show. got first place overall. Pretty exciting since we're a third year team. Our biggest strategy was really to be very conservative. Once I saw how fast we really were today, uh, I realized, you know, let me give it a little bit more. We realized the car was really holding up well and we just stayed out on that track pretty much the entire time. We are really, really freaking excited. We created these digital flag units. These new digital flags drastically improve visibility. They're really good at getting drivers' attention. They also improve safety for the flaggers themselves because we can put these digital flags in places where it wouldn't be safe to stand a person or a flagger or a course worker. Another innovation that we rolled out this year was the black flag digital signs. This sign alerts teams that are black flagged as they're driving around the course that they need to pull over, letting them know that we are actively looking for them and at the next stop we are going to pull them in. This improves communication with the teams and also improves safety for our black flag crew because there's an awareness that the car needs to pull over before they get there. We have a new system now that we've had at California now at this race. So we have transponders around the course and they let us know when you're coming and your car number will show up flashing at you to let you know that there's something that we're black flagging you for. And it helps me out tremendously, or the black flag crew, that you're pre-prepared to come in and, and stop. The people of Pittsburgh, Kansas, the county, Crawford County, puts their arms around all of the Baja teams. Pittsburgh's so small that we make it a, uh, an entire town event. Uh, with the Bajas on Broadway, we get the community involved. We asked the teams uh, voluntarily to come out, bring their trailers, bring their vehicles, and we closed down Broadway. Basically, that's why it's called Bajas on Broadway. And we had basically a party. We had live bands, we had foods, we had vendors. You know, hundreds if not more people came out and visited all of these Baja vehicles. The students, the teams really loved communicating and, and telling the story about how their Baja was created. We set up the course for spectators and really just make it an event for the whole town as well as, as the competitors. Sure, we had some inclement weather yesterday, which put a hinder on the dynamic day. Unfortunately, it was just too wet uh, for safety-wise to complete after the, the rainstorm and the thunderstorm came through. But ultimately, the cars that were prepared, they got all their runs in. It should be a lesson, I guess, to, to students that you need to be, you need to come here prepared and not still working on the cars.
It was a tough race. Uh, at the start, there was a ton of mud. Car filled up very quickly. At the first fuel stop, we were just scooping the mud out. Could feel the difference once we got back out on the track. It was definitely weighing us down. There was a lot of drop off. Just knowing the car and uh, knowing the impacts and loads that it can take and making sure that I take it set, slow and steady throughout the entire race and uh, get through it without braking. It was a cool event. It was cool to see all the teams out there and uh, how much support there is for Baja in this community. The students that come to these events, they're all professional and it just was a really good time. Um, like I said, we enjoy doing it. It's a community-wide effort though. I mean, it's not, we literally have hundreds of volunteers that have, have put hours into this over the course of, you know, the planning and, and then obviously the, the overall events. So this is our local Peoria customer demonstration facility where we bring all the customers and dealers in to do training. This is actually the fourth time that we've had the event out at the Edwards facility. I think Caterpillar respects and values the Baja SAE program. The students that participate in this program typically have a great combination of hands-on technical skills that they combine with the, the information that they're learning through their curriculum at school. Um, and Caterpillar really values that, that combined skill set. It's great uh, when the company goes to, to recruit for, for new hires. It fits right in with a lot of what Caterpillar does. We have some special capability with the excavators you can see there in the background, so getting cars out of the rock crawls is pretty easy for us, I should say. Uh, and I think extra fun for the students and, too. And extra fun, yeah. And for us, I like seeing it too. Yeah, I've been fighting for this thing for five years and finally got that endurance win. It's, it was emotional at the finish line. Coming from a desert racing background, you, you got to know that slower is faster, as they said in the Dust of Glory movie. So just tried to keep my cool and just stayed relaxed. And they didn't tell me what position I was in, so I just kept the same pace the entire race. And at the, after I crossed the finish line, they said, congrats, Mario, you got the win. Definitely the toughest things out there is uh, the other cars, the slower cars. Um, being patient and getting around the cars in single track, just making the better lines to get around some of the quicker cars out there and um, pass when you can and take as minimal chances as possible. Otherwise, wouldn't be standing here with this win. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to the, my entire team. These guys are incredible. Um, we uh, did all three events this year and that was the first time we've ever done that. So we're super proud and uh, got the endurance win, a top 10 overall and couldn't be more happy about that. The operators we have here are some of the most skilled operator, heavy equipment operators we have you know, in industry, they do all of our dealer training and customer training on new CAD equipment. So if we dream up some jump, they can build it in a matter of minutes here for us. Oh man, Caterpillar always kills this event. I was here in 2014 with a few of my members and they never cease to uh, amaze us. Of course, the, the demonstration afterwards is incredible. It's so cool. They do an awesome job.